is in the supply grill deep up into the flex. This probe is right in the grill. This probe is in the return, I'm sorry, it's in the supply plenum in the garage. So this is at about the five minute mark where the readings have slowed down. As we can see from the discharge of the air handler directly in the supply plenum right above the blower to inside the flex in this screw, only about a half a degree. But then at the grill, it looks like we've got about another degree. Because this pretty much tracks my supplier pretty closely. Now to sum this up, I do feel like some radiant heat around the grill, maybe also some turbulence from the air in the room mixing with the air that's coming out is affecting that probe. And I, my theory is also that different houses with taller ceilings may have a more pronounced effect like I was seeing yesterday. Because right now we're within one degree. We're about a half a degree from the vent to inside the flex. But in some houses this may be as much as two degrees or three degrees.
If anything changes, I'll pick it back up. Now we're within about 0.4 between the supply plenum and inside the flex. You know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, half a degree or so deep in the flex to the face of the grill. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's look into these wireless probes and grill subject that I made a quick video on last week and let's do a little more in-depth testing. I've got a little time today. We're actually at a different house than I showed you guys before. We're working upstairs. We've got a one and a half ton 16 sear single stage unit that we've got set up here um, with one probe in the supply here and that's marked my return now let's go up in the attic and let's see what I have set up up here <sighs> okay here's my here's my readings I've also got the STP2 hooked up hopefully we've already agreed that the STP2 and my wireless probes agree within point within point three of a degree I believe on my other video they were agreeing actually pretty close they're actually about point one so we've got the supply probe here in the plenum this is typically where I would probe a, an air handler that I'm working on pretty close this is usually where I probe for static pressure and for temperature split I've got the return probe right here and you can see over here I've got the other testo probe um, in this trunk line hopefully that's far enough away from the blower so we don't have any mixing concerns going on so let's go over our readings here so this is 56.4 degrees red at the grill that we just looked at downstairs 55.1 is the probe in my trunk line my STP2 is reading 54.7 degrees coming right off of my supply plenum as you can see we're at a pretty state steady state of operation here now we're back up to 54.8 54.9 54.8 54.9 still reading 55.1 in my trunk line so guys to be honest I'm really gonna have to call this that the mixing does seem to change my reading maybe I'm reading at the most a half a degree warmer I'm sorry maybe I'm reading a half a degree colder when the air is not mixed very well coming right off the blower right now I'm somewhere between 0.5 and 0.3 but my probe at the grill is over a degree warmer than my supply air in the trunk and it's roughly a degree and a half warmer than the air in the supply plenum that degree will have a big impact on your split calculations on your CFM calculations One degree doesn't sound like much, but again, it's very, it's, that degree, I feel like, can go up or down based on the house, the ceiling height, the heat around the grill where the probe is. But right now, my uh, supply plenum air is only 0 0.3, 0 0.4 degrees warmer in the trunk line than right leaving the unit here.
grill we're probed in is this one. This again is another foamed attic. It's probably only 75 degrees up here. There just simply can't be that much duck gain right now, or duck loss, I should say. I'm going to talk about nailing my target. Now I'm running this system at three, eight, I'm sorry, 685 CFMs. Well, thanks for watching my quick little video. Let's get the conversation started with all you. Uh, Air side techs and let's 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 get some conclusions going on.